What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Ask the Sonic Crew. That is right, guys. We are back with some more Ask the Sonic Crew for you guys. And today, guys, we got something very special planned out. Guys, I did this with Tails' uh, exes before, or Tails' girls. And today, guys, we are looking at Sonic's girls. It's basically uh, Sonic girls that mainly were shipped with him. Like the top girls that's always being shipped with Sonic. So, guys, without further ado, introductions to, well, <laughs> Team Sonic. Well, kind of Team Sonic in a way. But, you know. Anyway, first up we have is the wife of Sonic the Hedgehog. She's pretty in pink. Everybody, it is Amy Rose. Hello, everyone. Amy Rose here. It's really nice to see you all again. Yep. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it, Amy? Yep, it has. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next up we have is the, uh, <laughs> the ever-so-beautiful girl in all of the Sonic franchise. She's the most loved. She's the most loved Sonic girl, and she pretty much knows how to get what she wants. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Rouge the Bat. Why, hello there, my lovely jewels. It is me, Rouge the Bat. It's really nice to see you all. <laughs> yep. Anyway, Rouge, how's everything? Everything's just fine. All right. Okay, so next up we have is the Queen of the Soul Dimension. She's really close to Sonic. Well, she is kind of close because she practically is him. Just from another universe, in a way. Anyway, it is Blaze the Cat. Um, hello everyone. It's me, Blaze the Cat. It's really nice to see you all. <laughs> yep. Anyway, next... Anyway, next we have is one of Sonic's exes that most people really do like to see him with. She is one of... She's the leader of the Freedom Fighters. And she's also the princess of the Acorn Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sally Acorn. Hello. It's really nice to see you all again, especially you, Flame. Yeah, I know it's been a while, Sally. I know. <laughs> okay, anyway, next up we have is... Uh, one of Son another one of Sonic's exes, she was once a member of the Freedom Fighters, but betrayed us to be with Scourge. But after a few years, she finally is back with the Freedom Fighters, and <laughs> her and Sonic, they're friends again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Fiona Fox. Greetings, everyone. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Okay, next up, guys, we have another girl who actually isn't, who actually was in love with Sonic. In fact, she was so much in love with Sonic that she practically joined the Freedom Fighters just to be near him. She has super speed, just like Sonic, but one thing that she's really famous for is singing and dancing and just performing up on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Mina Mongoose. Hello, and back. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it, Mina? Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway, next up is we have... Next up we have is another member of the Freedom Fighters. She is Sally's best friend, and she's my mother-in-law. She actually, believe it or not, is the mother of my wife, Sarah Dragonhog. Okay, anyway, guys, it is Bunny Rabot. Well, howdy, y'all. It's me, Bunny Rabot, here. It's really nice to be here. <laughs> yeah. And finally, last but not least, guys, we have someone who you guys really don't know much about. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one very electrifying girl. She pretty much is like the gender band version of Scourge a little bit. She's pretty much a rogue. She does whatever she wants, and she has lightning or electrical powers. She actually once worked with uh, Dr. Eggman and all that other stuff, but not anymore now that she's a rogue. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Surge the Tenrec. Um, Surge? 
Are you going to, uh, speak? What's up, losers? It's me, Serge. It's really nice to be here. Well, okay. Um, Serge, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, and I see you, uh, got a little bit of a makeover here. You, uh, let your, qu you let your, uh, quills down and you're wearing black lipstick. What? Black lipstick is in these days. Yeah, just ask, yeah, just ask crazy Amy. <laughs> anyway, for my co-host, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know him. You guys love him. He's pretty much the, uh, sole... Uh, reason why everybody is here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my brother, the one, the only, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Sonic the Hedgehog, here. And, guys, <laughs> we're all, and guys, believe it or not, after Ask the Sonic crew, me and Amy, we're gonna be going on our little vacation. So that way, yeah, it's, yeah, that's the reason why we're still here, so that way we can just get this little, so that way we can get our vacation and stuff on. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure almost everybody can't wait. I'm pretty sure you and Amy are really looking forward to your vacation. I know I am. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, now that introductions are out of the way, let us begin with Ask the Sonic Crew. Let us begin. All right, guys. So, first question on the list here is for Amy. So, Amy, have you met Mephilus, Amy? You know, the other Amy that I had for uh, another episode of Ask the Sonic Crew? Um, no, I haven't. Who is she? Well, basically, she's an Amy. Basically, she's an Amy. Well, okay. Do you remember Mephilus? You mean that weird shadow that killed Sonic during Sonic 06? Of course I remember him. Well, he's basically... Well, remember how he got his shadow form? Yeah. He took Shadow's, well, Shadow. Yeah, that's basically what happened with him, except he took your Shadow. So that's what happened? Yep. Anywho. Anywho. So, yeah. He, so have you met her? Nope. No, I haven't. Well, you would really do. Uh, Crazy Amy and lots of other versions of you met her. I met her, and it's definitely really interesting. Maybe I might meet her. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So, next question we have is for Rouge. Is for Rouge. Oh, boy. Okay. So, Rouge, have you met Spike the Dragon? He likes gems. He likes gems, too. And Flame has Venom from the uh, Marvel Universe. What the world? Okay, I don't know who written that question down, but that was just random. But anyway, so, have you met Spike? Um, no, I haven't. Who is he? Well, Spike, he is a little purple dragon from the MLP world. Believe it or not, him and Rarity, they actually have a really close friendship. And what else is really crazy is he actually loves gems, just like you and Rarity. Oh, well, maybe I might meet him. In fact, maybe I might show him my gem collection. Um, you better be careful with that, Rouge, because, uh, one thing you need to know about Spike is that he eats gems. He eats gems? But they're rocks. Yeah, you'd be surprised. You'd be really, really surprised. He can actually eat gems, like the actual gemstones. Does his teeth hurt all the time? No, not really. He actually is... He actually loves it, because you see, dragons in Equestria, they love eating gems. That is definitely interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so, next up is Blaze. Okay, Blaze, this question here is for you. Are you happy that, fl that Silver is gone for good? As a matter of fact, yes, I am. I am happy that Silver is gone. So now, that way, I don't have to worry about the abuse and everything, and him threatening our daughter. Everything's all good. And plus, Flame is a whole lot better father than Silver was. Yeah, I mean, he was so controlling and all that other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> even I wasn't that, even I'm not controlling when it comes to my kids. Yeah, that is true, Sonic. 
it, trust me, nobody wants a controlling parent. Trust me, nobody wants that. Yeah, and maybe one day I might have another kid. Hmm, maybe, who knows. If you're up for it, Flame. Okay, I knew that was coming. Uh, okay, anyway, Blaze, maybe we'll um <clears throat> talk about that later. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so, Sally, you're up next. You ready for your question? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, I know it's been a long while since you answered any questions from Ask the Sonic Crew. But anyway, let us begin. So, to... Okay, so, to Sally... How did your rings turn into two swords and a shield? Basically, they're talking about the two blue rings that you have on your wrists. Well, they were given to me by my father. You see, he was actually really skilled with them. I only mastered sword and shield mode. There's lots of other modes, too, but I haven't mastered them yet. I heard there's crossbow mode, I heard there's mace mode, and lots of others. But I only mastered sword and shield. Oh, well, don't worry. Maybe after some training, maybe you'll be able to uh, get everything. Mm, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> okay, well, anyway. All right, Fiona, you ready for your question? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, well, first let me find it. Uh, guys, I'm trying something new real quick. I'm actually reading the questions off my iPad. Um, I'm actually reading my questions off my iPad, so I'm trying something new. Okay, here we go. To Fiona, how was your life working with King Flame as part of your harem of... of... Okay, hold up. I think basically they're asking, what is your life like now that you're with me? Are you happy with me, or do you miss Scourge? Absolutely not. I don't miss Scourge. I mean... That backstabbing, two-timing son of a bitch, I really hate him so much. I really do. I would rather be with the Freedom Fighters and never get back with him. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, the way he just uses women like that, he's a womanizer. Yeah, he is. That's why I hate him so much. Ugh. If he ever gets brought back to life, I swear, I'm gonna make sure that I kill him personally. Uh, then you'll be going to zone jail and probably be being paired with somebody guy, being paired with some guy named Biff. Well, I already been to zone jail, and trust me, it's not that different. Uh, you'd be surprised, Fiona. I've been to zone jail. I've been to zone jail, and they really did change it up. You see, believe it or not, they're actually putting partners. They're actually putting pairs in zone jail. One man, one female, in a cell together. And believe it or not, the guards do not give a crap what the heck happens in that cell. For all we know, probably the guy and the girl, they're probably, you know, getting their groove on in that cell and all that stuff. Ew, that's disgusting. Yeah, but unfortunately, the zone cops do not care. The zone cops do not care. Ugh, it's kind of weird. Anyway, okay, Mina, you ready for your question? Yep, I'm ready. It has been a long while since I have asked, answered any questions, huh? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. So let me see if I can try and find you your question. Like I said before, guys, I'm trying something new here with my iPad here. I'm trying something new. I got all the questions on here, okay? So just bear with me on this. Uh, give me one moment. Give me one moment. I'm still trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so, to Mina, are you glad that Ash the Mongoose is gone out of your life and that Flame and Sonic roasted him completely? Absolutely. I am really happy that Ash is gone. I mean, for all we know, he's probably finger-popping somebody else's asshole. <laughs> probably his boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you want, we can roast him again. We can call him back for a roast session. No, no, I don't think he wants that anymore. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, me and Sonic, we were on point with that. Yeah, you were, and I'm really happy for that. Hey, don't forget I was involved too. Yeah, Amy, I know you were involved too, and I'm proud of that. Okay, so, Serge, you ready for your question? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Okay, well, not that many people, well, not that many people know about you, so they just ask this question. Like, 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 for example, 
Uh, to Surge, what is your favorite lightning? What is your favorite lightning weapon that Flame has? Hold up, guys. How do you guys even know I have lightning weapons? I don't have lightning weapons. What the heck? But anyway, I'm guessing maybe they're telling. I guess they're asking. What's your what's your favorite uh lightning move that I have that you want to learn? Oh, well, um if I had to pick, I would definitely have to say my I would definitely have to say your signature lightning bolts. Ooh, that's yeah, that's actually a really good move. You see guys, what I do is is that I make a circle, I make a circle out of lightning and then I punch through it and then a bolt and then bolts of lightning just come out of it and just you know strikes my opponent it's just amazing yeah i love that it looks really cool <laughs> yeah there's lots of yeah there's lots of lightning moves i can teach you in fact there's lots of lightning uh, abilities that i can teach you and if you want i can improve your lightning abilities too oh yeah all you need to do is just eat a lightning devil fruit. I got plenty of them. A lightning devil fruit? Yeah, from the One Piece universe. It give you see, devil fruits are very, very interesting. All you have to do is just eat them, and they give you amazing powers. They give you amazing powers. Like, I ate my, I ate the lightning fruit, and it gave me lightning, and it gave me electrical powers. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. <laughs> hmm, maybe I might, maybe I might do that. Yeah. All right there, Bunny. You ready for your question? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Again, just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to find every. I'm trying to find everybody's questions. Ah, here we go. Okay. To Bunny, are you proud with your son-in-law Flame that he did a great job as king of, as ki as a king to protect Mobius? Why, sure. I really am proud of Flame. I mean, don't get me wrong, anybody would be really proud of him if they were his son-in-law. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was pretty tough. He did come a long way. I watched him grow up from a little hedgehoglet to, you know, the man that he is today. I'm really proud of him. And definitely, he made my, he made my little Sarah very, very happy. He made her really happy. Plus, not only that, he provided her with he provided her with all sorts of powers. And not only that, he gave her all sort he gave her kids and just a great life. A better life than I could have given her. <laughs> well, don't worry, Bunny. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you would have given her a really, really great life. Yeah, working on a farm and working as a waitress at a restaurant. Well, you gotta start off somewhere, I guess. Anyway, guys, we're on to the group question. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay, so, to everyone, what do you think about the battle between Flame and Alma? Do you all got... Are you all gonna support Flame about this... About the epic battle? Yeah, of course we're gonna be supporting him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have seen Alma before. She is really powerful. Yeah, I would definitely have to say that, you know, Alma, she is really powerful and strong from the DBZ world. Mm-hmm. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that fight. Yeah, same here. I really can't wait to see it. Uh-huh, I really can't wait. It's gonna be electrifying. I can't wait to see it. I'm rooting for you, sugar hog. Aw, thanks, ladies. I really am happy. I really can't wait to fight Oma. I mean, I heard she is pretty f powerful. I mean, she's an angel. She's an angel. She's just... Wow. Okay, well, anyway, this is definitely going to be interesting and stuff. Woo! I'm not going to lie. I am definitely not going to lie. I really am looking forward to fighting Oma. I really am looking forward to fighting Oma, so... I don't know if I'm going to be prepared for this. I hope so. I hope so. <sighs> anyway, Sonic, it's your turn to ask questions. It's your turn to ask questions. Right. Okay. It's about time because I was sitting here waiting the whole time and you haven't been and you haven't let me ask any questions. Sorry, bro. 
It's just that when I do ask the Sonic crew, I get really into the zone. Yeah, I can tell. Anyway, so for this question, it's for my beautiful wife, Amy. So, Amy, are you really... Ha okay, so, Amy, this question here is for you. Uh, are you planning on having any more kids in the future? Oh my gosh. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't really know. I mean, my two kids that we have already, they're just fine. They're just fine. Well, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Violet, she is definitely amazing, and she is doing good singing with the Shimmer Girls and stuff. Yeah, and don't forget about Amelia. She's doing really good, too. Yeah, I'm really happy that you actually became a mom, Amy. Yeah, I'm happy I became a mother, too. I mean, that's what I dreamt about for all my life. <laughs> yeah, you practically chased down Sonic for years to finally, you know, become his girlfriend, become his wife, and then become his baby mama. Yeah, I've been waiting for that. <laughs> and I bet you're and I bet you're happy too. Yeah, I am. Okay. All right, Rouge, this quest Okay, Rouge, this question here is for you. Sonic, go ahead and read it. Right. Okay, Rouge, this question here is for you. Oh, man, okay. So, uh, Rouge, why is it that you always find yourself, you know, teasing Knuckles? I mean, what the heck has he ever done to you? Absolutely nothing. I just find teasing him very entertaining. And plus, not only that... Plus, not only that, but... <laughs> He does have the Master Emerald. Well, he did. Until, you know, Flame has it now. Yeah, I know. I'm doing pretty good guarding the Master Emerald anyway. Yes. But anyway, as for me teasing Nucky, he is definitely amazing. <laughs> yeah, he is definitely something. Oh, man. Okay, anyway, Sonic, go ahead and read your question to Blaze. Right. Okay. So, to Blaze, how do you feel about the people shipping you and Sonic together? Oh my gosh, not this again. Oh, that. Well, look, everyone. To tell you the truth, I don't really find Sonny's, you know, really nice. I find it weird, but listen, it's flattering that you think me and Sonic should be together because, after all, we're both speedsters, we're both pretty much the same thing, and we have super forms and stuff, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Me and Sonic, we're not like that at all. We're not like that. And plus, think about it. I'm from the Soul Dimension. He's from Mobius. If we got, if we got married, then... That would mean I would have to leave the Soul Dimension, and things would go catastrophic with Eggman Nega going on over there. Or Sonic would have to move to the Soul Dimension and leave Mobius, and all of his friends. And everything will go into travesty with all these other villains running around. So, yeah. But, I mean, we do find it really flattering, but I'm sorry, but... <sighs> Sonny's... It's just not gonna happen. Besides, even if it was going to happen, it's too late. Sonic is with Amy, and I'm with Flame, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. All Sonic ships, we all find very flattering. I mean, sure, some Sonic ships are bad, some Sonic ships are good, some Sonic ships are... Just plain awkward. <laughs> but, here's the thing. There is no such thing as, like, a really, really weird and bad ship. It's just that a mo it's just a mi matter of opinion. I mean, hey, to all you Sun A's fans out there, that's good for you, okay? That's all, that's all good. We respect your opinion, like you think me and Blaze should be together and all that stuff, so, yeah, we do appreciate that. Yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm a huge Sun A's, I'm a, I'm a Sun A's fan, I'll admit it, I am a Sun A's fan, but I'm a Sun Amy fan more. I'm more of a Sun Amy fan. Okay, next up, okay, Sally... This question is for you. Sonic, go ahead. Right. Okay, so, Sally, uh, this question here is for you. Oh, man. Uh, are you happy that Monkey Con is gone? Are you happy that he's gone? Yes, I am happy that he's gone. 
I mean, just the way that he used me like that. Yeah, um, for those of you guys who don't know what the heck happened, Monkey Con, he practically used, he practically, um, used Sally just so that way he can get a kid and so that way he can feel like a true king. Because, just to quote Scourge, sorry Fiona, to be a king, you have to have a queen. And so he practically married Fiona, he practically married Sally so that way he can feel complete and so that way he can have a kid and everything. It's just crazy. Yeah, I felt so used. And to think, that monkey had his furry... Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to think about it anymore. Yeah, I don't want to think about it either. I don't want to get any mental pictures or anything. Ugh. But overall, you are happy that he's gone? Yes, I am happy that he's gone. And I just hope that he's not going to come back. At all. In fact, let that whole anti-flame syndicate die. Just let them die. Ugh. Yeah, let's just hope that they do not come back to life. Ugh. Okay, anyway, so, Fiona, this question here is for you. Sonic? Right. Okay, so, Fiona, this question here is for you. Uh, oh, snap. Okay, this is... Okay, Tails, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Okay, so, do you... Uh, did you know that Tails actually did have feelings for you? Even when you were still with Sonic? To tell you the truth, no. I didn't know that Tails had feelings for me. I really didn't. That is, until I was about to betray everybody and he finally confessed his love for me. I really didn't know. I told him it was kind of cute, and then I punched him in the gut. Ugh. I really do regret what I did, though. I really did regret what I did, and, well, now me and Tails were really good friends. We're really good friends, we buried the hatchet, finally, and let's just say, we're really, really, um, really close. I mean, after all, we're both foxes, and foxes gotta stick together, <laughs> right? Well, true, true, true. And also, one other thing, there's also a bonus question here for you. Uh, what were some of your favorite moments that you had with Sonic? Oh, there were lots of favorite things that I had done with Sonic. Like, we went out on dates and stuff, we went walking through the park, it's just amazing. We went ice skating, it was really great. Yeah, there was some good times. Yeah, there were some good times. <laughs> but, it's, but those times are over now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, anyway, this question here is for Mina the Mongoose. Alright, go ahead, Sonic, read it. Right. Okay, so, Mina, this question here is for you, uh, what's, uh, your favorite song? What's your favorite song? It can be any song that you like, whether it be a song that you did or a song that any other of our bands did. It's, uh, could be anything. It could be anything. Well, my favorite song would definitely have to be Welcome to the Show by the Rainbooms and the Dazzlings. That song is pretty good. Yeah, I really do like that song a lot. I love it. Yeah. Also, there was one other song that I like. There's also one other song that I like. Uh, there's also the song Someday by the Sonic Underground. Oh, you like that song? Yeah. It just shows how close you guys are. I mean, if I had a brother and a sister, I would definitely want to sing that song too. You guys are so close to each other. Yeah, we are really close. And we were willing to do whatever it takes to get back together. Mm-hmm. That's why I wish I had some siblings. I mean, all I have is just my mom. Oh, yeah. By the way, how is Elizabeth, anyway? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. Your name... Oh, wait, no. Your mom's name is, uh, Isabel, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. And by the way, how's the uh, de-robotization? It's fine. She's okay. She's actually really happy that now she can feel her hands again. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Mina the Mongoose's uh, mom's name is uh, Isabel. She actually was part of the Royal Guard along with uh, Tails, his mom and dad, uh... King Acorn and lots of others. 
and lots of others. Yeah, she practically is really interesting, though. And she was once roboticized. But luckily, thanks to me, I actually turned her back from a robot. Yeah, she's actually really happy. In fact, she wants to come by in person and thank you. Oh, well, tell her to come on by. I mean, tell her to come on by whenever she wants. Right. I'll let her know. All right. Okay, so this question here is for Surge. All right. Sonic, go ahead. Right. Okay, Surge, this question here is for you. Whatever happened to Kit the Fennet Fox? I mean, if I remember correctly, he's somewhat like your Tails. He's somewhat like your Tails, you know, your little sidekick buddy, whatever he is. Okay, well, to tell you the truth, I don't really know what happened to him. I really don't know. Last time I saw him, we were roaming around Metropolis for a little while, and then we got separated, and then I found him. I found his water pack, and I just assumed the worst. I just assumed that he was dead. But then I found out that he was not dead. He actually fell, hello, he actually fell head over heels for this one girl, and he actually ended up getting married. He forgot all about me. Oh, well, that's something. Yeah, so now I'm over here married to you, Flame. But that's okay, that's okay. I mean, think about it, at least both of you got something out of life. Yeah, that is true, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Bunny, this question here is for you. Sonic, go ahead and read it. Right, okay. Um, Bunny, this question here is for you. Oh, man. Uh, this is definitely something. Uh... How did you, f what was your favorite moment dating Sonic? Because if I remember correctly, uh, back in the day, you and Sonic actually did date. Well, to tell you the truth, me and Sonic, we didn't actually have, like, a very long relationship. It's just that, you know, it was just like one of those little flames and stuff. We hugged, we kissed, we went out on dates and all that stuff. But it wasn't exactly like a full-blown relationship, like... It's not like we ever asked, it's not like I asked him to marry me or something, but nah. And besides, he was, and besides, I saw how much he actually had a crush on Sally Girl over there. So, I had, to, so we ended the relationship so Sonic can go with her. Yeah, and then I stepped in. Well, actually no, because after that, Sonic broke up with Sally. I started dating Sally for a little bit. I started dating Sally for a little bit, and then I went after Bunny, only to find out that Antoine was going after Bunny too, so we actually competed for each other, we actually competed for her, and I ended up winning, but I actually wanted to be a good player, and, you know, I let Antoine have Bunny, because, you know, I wanted to be nice and stuff, I didn't want to be snooty, so I just let Antoine have Bunny, and hey, think about it, if I didn't, then I wouldn't have my wife Sarah. Yeah, true, true. Also, by the way, Flame. Yeah? You know, if you want it, you can always just clone me. If you still have feelings for me, that is. Uh, I honestly don't know how Antoine would feel about that. I honestly don't know either, but <laughs> it couldn't hurt to ask him. Yeah, and watch him say no. <laughs> anyway, group question! Anyway, group question, and it's the last question for the day. So, how do you guys all feel about your ships with Sonic? Um, Blaze, since you already answered your question about, you know, Sun A's, you don't have to answer it. Okay, so Amy, how do you feel about Sun Amy? Obviously, I love it. It's like the number one Sonic ship. I mean, think about it. And plus, not only that, it was actually the very first ever Sonic ship. I mean, hello, think about it. I'm one of the very first Sonic females to ever be created in the first place. Yeah, that is true. So of course Sonic is going to be shipped with me. I mean, not to mention, in Sonic CD, I've done nothing but chase him all over the place. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. So, you like Sun Amy? 100% yes! Okay, Rouge, how do you feel about Sun Ouge? Hmm, well, being shipped with Sonic... That's pretty much a no-brainer. I mean, the most beautiful woman going out with the main character. I'm pretty sure everybody would expected that. I mean, it's pretty much really common, anyway. 
Yeah, that is true. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people shipped Android 21 with Goku. I mean, she is, I mean, she practically isn't the most beautiful uh, Dragon Ball Z girl. Trust me, I know who the most Dragon Ball, trust me, I know who the most beautiful Dragon Ball Z uh, girl is. Trust me. <laughs> you guys are definitely going to die when you guys hear who it is. But I'm not going to tell you guys. Sorry. But anyway, uh, so, Blaze, like I said, you already uh, answered. So, Sally, how do you feel about Sun Alley? Well, it is sort of second... It is sort of second or first place in front or behind Sun Amy. I mean, don't get me wrong, me and Sonic, we actually had some really good times. Yeah, that is true. In the Archie comics, in the Satayam TV show, and lots of other things. It's pretty interesting, really. Yeah, I mean, me and Sonic, we definitely were inseparable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, Fiona, how do you feel about your ship? Sun, uh, Sun Ona, I think that's how it is, Sun Ona, or, I'm just, okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm just making stuff up, I'm just making stuff up, I, I, I honestly don't know, I'm sorry, I really don't know what the ship, pro I really don't know what the proper ship name is, I'm sorry, I really don't, but anyway, so how do you feel about it, Fiona? Well, it had its time, it had its time, but now it's over. Yeah, I know, I know. So, how did you feel about it? You know, dating Sonic and all? It was okay, but unfortunately, I guess I uh, somewhat like bad boys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Mina, how did you feel about uh, Sun Ina, whatever your ship name is? Hmm, well, it was interesting, really. Well, it was interesting, really. I really I really enjoyed, you know, spending time with Sonic and the gang. But, like I said before, I wasn't really into the Freedom Fighters. The only reason why I joined it was just so that I could be close to Sonic. But, sadly, it didn't work. I mean, I even put on that Japanese dress that, you know, really made men, you know, go crazy. But, unfortunately, Sonic, he really didn't pay any attention to me or anything. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and we did date for a little while. We did date for a little while, but then, you know, things happen. Yeah, and besides, if you think about it, Archie Sonic, he's probably still with, uh, he's probably still with Sally. He's probably still with his Sally, or he probably has, you know, like, Mina chasing after him and still, or maybe Fiona or whatever, I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring Archie Sonic onto the channel. Let me know if you guys want me to, because don't forget, guys, Archie Sonic is a totally different Sonic. He's definitely different from, you know, this world. Guys, in order, guys, let me just tell you, this is the game world. This is the game world, okay? This is the game world. Over there, we have the Archie world. Then we have the classic universe. Then we have here slash the modern world. Then we have the boom universe. And then we have the movie universe, okay? So, yeah, just so that way we can get everything straight, all right? Just so that way we don't get everything all mixed up and jumbled up, all right? Because don't forget, there's like multiple different Sonic universes, okay? <laughs> You'd be surprised how many multiverses there are thanks to, that, thanks to that comic. I mean, and not to mention the multiversal highway. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's been a long time since I ran on that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, back to the question. <clears throat> so, Serge, how do you feel about your ship with, uh, Sonic? Uh, Sun Urge? Sun Urge? Whatever it is? Well, I think it is a little bit awkward. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am pretty speedy. And, not only that, but just like Sonic's movie self, I can actually control lightning as well. Yeah, both of you can conduct, electri conduct electricity a little bit. Yeah, but Movie Me really does have that move in the bag a little. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, also, anyway, la okay, so, next up is Bunny. Bunny, how do you feel about, uh, your ship with Sonic? Uh, Sun Honey, whatever it is. Guys, I'm really terrible with those ship names, I'm sorry. I really don't know if they're the proper ship names, or I'm just making stuff up, I don't know. But anyway, how do you feel about it, Bunny? Well, Sugar Hog and I, we really did have some good times together. But sadly, like Sally said, we had our times and now they're over. 
<laughs> yeah. So we can all agree that everybody enjoyed their Sonic ship. Well, some of us enjoyed them. Except for Blaze and, I don't know, Rouge. Well, to tell you the truth, I really enjoy Sun Rouge. I mean, if only we made it canon. Well, sorry about that, Rouge. It's not happening. I'm sorry. All right, guys. I guess that's it for this episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. I do like to thank this uh, team here. Guys, um, I'm going to put the team name on here because we didn't actually come up with a team. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I do like to thank Amy, Rouge, Blaze, Sally, Fiona, Mina, Serge, and Bunny for coming out here and answering questions. And, Sonic, good luck on your vacation, bro. Thanks. I'll be back on Saturday. Alright, thanks. Okay, cool. Anyway, Amy, you can head on out, too. Aw, thanks. We'll see you when you get... I will see you when we get back. All right. Bye, Amy. Bye, Sonic. Bye, bro. Bye. Okay, well, I'm here with uh, a lot of my girls from my harem. Well, except for Bunny. Bunny, you can leave. Well, all right. After all, I do got to open up the restaurant. You open at 1 o'clock? Well, somewhat. Anyway, bye. Bye, Bunny. Well, again, I'm here with... Some of the girls from my harem, so what do you guys want to do? Well, we have to finish packing so that way we can move to the harem planet. Okay, I guess I can help you. I guess I can help you. After all, it is getting close to the end of the month anyway. Alright, so anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you guys agree with everything that's been said here. Oh, and I do apologize if your question did not get read out. You can always try again next time for the next episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. And I promise you guys, it's going to be good. And also, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And, guys, you guys are probably wondering, whatever happened to the uh, video that I posted earlier, the simp game? Well, it got age-restricted. Yeah, it got, it got, yeah, it got uh, marked as age-restricted. So I had to take it down. So, sorry. Anyway, be sure to keep an eye out for another video I'm going to be making later on today. Trust me, you're definitely going to love it. Because it's going to be talking about everybody's favorite Sonic couple, Sonny! So be sure to keep an eye out for that video. Anyway, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.